The Transmedia Literacy Research Team has found a broad set of transmedia skills and informal learning strategies. In this video, we are going to present you the main transmedia skills and informal learning strategies we have found. Regarding the transmedia skills, we have detected 44 main skills and 190 secondary skills. These skills have been classified in nine dimensions. Production, individual social and content management, performance, media and technology, narrative and aesthetics, ideology and ethics, risk prevention. This one is one of the most exhaustive maps of teens' transmitted skills done in the last years. Within a transliteracy project, different practices and different levels of production were discovered among teenagers. They are actually more consumers than producers, but they have conditions and tools to develop such competencies and to be more confident in creating contents. An amazing aspect that we learned was that teenagers' creations are not planned. The majority of their productions are informal, spontaneous, of a short range, direct to their closest circle for their everyday friends. Some teenagers are keen on producing fan fiction, videos or photos, for instance, but they don't always like to publish online their stories. They keep them for themselves or they share only with their peers. This doesn't reveal lack of digital literacy skills. On the contrary, some teenagers don't publish precisely because they don't want to expose themselves to a wider audience, preferring to protect their privacy. Today, production skills are highly valued, but it is important to bear in mind that production doesn't guarantee that students are able to understand and critically analyze uh, the media and the messages they disseminate and consume. Uh, it doesn't suppose either that they mobilize critical capacities, as when teens are producing without critical awareness, uh, they are just exhibiting some know-how. Uh, therefore, production skills must go hand in hand with critical and analytical competencies, and it is fundamental that students are able to critically discuss and evaluate their own products and the creation process. Uh, when teenagers assume the role of creators, uh, they have the chance to enter in the production process and to understand it better. The range of production skills mentioned by the adolescents is vast and maybe even more significant if they have the occasion to broaden and deepen those skills. They do that outside school and they will continue to do it. So uh, don't forget, uh, school curriculum provides several opportunities for promoting students' creative expression, so it's a matter of taking advantage of those opportunities. the Transmedia Literacy Project, we have identified three main management skills. And these are self-management, social management and content management. Self-management, uh, it, it's about managing one's time and resources. Uh, it, it's about managing your own identity. And it's also uh, managing your feelings and emotions. Uh, managing time seems to be quite important. You have to be both able to arrange time to engage in your uh, favorite social media activities, but the other way around. It's also important to manage the time you spend in, with social media so that there is enough of time left for going to school, making your homework, that sort of activities. The self-management is also about uh, the ability to express your own personality through production of media stories, and also through interface customization. And uh, still this uh, self-management includes the ability to be resilient and adaptive in quickly changing conditions. Content management skills are about the ability to, to manage different media content through range of platforms and media forms. Uh, it's about selecting, downloading, organizing and disseminating content. So uh, you have to be able to, to know where to search certain contents and you have to have the ability to manage social media and uh, also archive those contents. 
And finally, when you are using maybe even more than a dozen social media daily, you have to be able to manage all of those accounts. Uh, in this field, it seems, based on, on our research, that this archiving of media contents is maybe not the, the strongest area among the teams. In, in a world where most of the contents are coming through streaming, and it's always, seems to be always available, there is that, that sort of pressure to be effective in archiving. And this is maybe one of the fields more uh, education would be needed. In the area of social management, it, it's about the ability to communicate and to, to coordinate and to organize all sorts of activities. It's, it's also about leading a group or teaching your peers or your family, for example, while gaming and, and producing collectively content. Uh, social management skills also include the abilities in participating in social media. Uh, so it's, uh, it, it's about the abilities to, to and skills to, to comment and share content. It's also uh, the skills to, to coordinate and lead groups in, in, in content creation. And an uh, important part of the social management skills is the, the, the skills engaging in uh, uh, fan communities of uh, transmedial narrative worlds. And uh, here, uh, liking, for example, is uh, liking content or posts in social media. It's not a simple act of, of showing that you actually appreciate something. It's a quite complex social tool where you are indicating your belonging to a certain group. It's also uh, your self-image uh, building and it's a bond, uh, kind of strengthening the peer bonds. So liking is an important social management skill as well. It is important to remember that not all of these skills are present in every teenager. Maybe a teenager may have a lot of skills in the area of production, but maybe he or she is not very good in skills regarding risk prevention or narrative aesthetic issues. The research team of Transmedia Literacy doesn't believe in the concept of digital native. We think that it's very difficult to reduce the complexity of the relationship between teenagers, technologies and participatory culture to a single concept or category. Risk prevention skills are organized in three sections. To recognize and describe, to evaluate and reflect and to take action. This set of skills is related to media privacy and security. For example, to recognize and describe possible additions to media products, to evaluate and reflect on the risk of constructing a personal digital identity, to identify and neutralize a hack. Ideological and ethical skills refers to detecting and analyzing media representation of stereotypes in, for example, culture or gender. It also refers to ethical issues in relation to copyright and hacking, especially in video games, for example. To recognize and describe the legal implications of media content production and diffusion. To evaluate and reflect on their own media diet and choices. To avoid illegal and unethical practices. Performance skills are essentially related to gameplay skills. And these gaming skills are more valuable beyond entertainment than it could seem at first sight. By playing video games, teenagers informally practice skills such as a flexible adaptation to unstable environments, strategic thinking, and identity management through characters construction. They also show creative thinking in regards to the exploration of multiple possible paths to solve a problem, and the changeable functionality of certain tools as the game progresses. Moreover, cheating and using tricks are not simply illegitimate actions in gamer culture, but gameplay issues subject to debate and social negotiation. In short, a few key examples of skills within this area are to be flexible and adaptable, to outline strategies to win games, and to know how to combine characters to move through the stages of a game. Together with gameplay skills, we also consider other kinds of performative skills, such as playing fictional roles or performing in an artistic sense, for example, dancing, playing music or cosplaying. 
This are inclusive skills related to interpreting storytelling and narrative structures, as well as delving into the analysis of genres, characters, and aesthetics, among other issues. Some of these skills are to highlight the differences and similarities among genres in any media, to reflect on video game design and content, to reconstruct a transmedia narrative world. These skills are related to having knowledge about social political media economies, reflecting on personal media diets, technical features and languages. Also, these skills are related to taking action upon this knowledge. Some of these skills are, for example, to recognize and describe technical features of social media, to evaluate and reflect on qualities or characteristics of software, hardware and apps, to highlight technical differences and similarities of video games and consoles. Regarding the informal learning strategies, the Transmedia Literacy Team has found that many traditional informal learning strategies like learning by doing, learning by teaching, playing, imitation, imitating or problem solving are present in everyday life of teenagers. In this context, we have proposed a classification of these informal learning strategies. We have introduced four dimensions, subject, time, space and relationships, and we have introduced a series of oppositions to organize these informal learning strategies. For example, the opposition between individual and collaborative learning, or the opposition between online or offline informal learning strategy. Regarding the final main conclusion of the research, uh, we can say that the most important ones are the following. The creation of an exhaustive map of transmedia skills that includes 44 main skills and 190 secondary skills. The development of a set of didactic activities with the objective of exploiting the transmedia skills inside the classroom in a formal learning setting. The identification of main informal learning strategies present in teenagers' practices and to develop a first set of categories and oppositions for classifying those strategies. Beyond the original research questions, the Transmedia Literacy team has produced a lot of knowledge about the relationship between teenagers, digital media and uh, collaborative cultures. If you want to get more information about our outputs, we invite you to visit our website or to follow us on Twitter.